Hi there. As you can see, I'm back with my tyre today. So I'm looking at tyre workout again. So what we need to think about, what I want to look at today, is instead of doing particular combinations, so we've done things like working our downward figure eight on it, one half of the X, or losing particular combinations on it. So a block and then working a particular counter. These are things we've already done. What we'll look at today is, if you like, fighting the tyre or sparring the tyre, okay? And I want to really focus on two things, right? That's moving around and hitting fluidly, not hard. That's a different game. We can come to that another day and we will do. Okay, I already have done actually developing power on tyres. But what I'll look at, if I'm hitting it like this, see that's not hard, this is hard. Entirely different game, okay? But I want to hit just a sort of light medium. And that means, look, if I just stop it for a moment. Just untangle it there. I just want to stay still. If I do this, you watch the motion of my tyre, my stick. It has to stop and then move again. It's not like this, where it moves continuously. Okay, and so what we're looking at today is integrating that bumping on the tyre, so like I've hit somebody's arm and then I carry on through. But it doesn't cut their arm off, you have to carry on moving. And so footwork around in a natural way, just the in and out, stepping backward and forward, like the Lagomano style footwork, replacement step, that kind of stuff. These are all on videos you can find that I've posted. Look up on my YouTube channel, my website, which is www.tribalfightingarts.co.uk. And obviously, you can go to the Tribal Fighting Arts group on Facebook or look for Tribal Fighting Arts Nottingham. That's on Facebook as well. Okay? Anyway, Tribal Fighting Arts, you'll find it somewhere. We're going to look at moving around in a nice, fluid way and striking fluidly. So, I'm going to give you a really bad example of what to do just for 20 seconds. I'll say it again. Bad example, don't do this. First thing, my feet never moved. Secondly, I'm just hitting it kind of randomly, whacking away, back, back, this kind of stuff. Okay? That's, the, that's almost the antithesis of what we want. It's the opposite of what we want. What I want is nice fluid movement, moving around. When the tire swings toward me, I move out of the way to the side and keep hitting. And I keep hitting with my feet. Sorry, in time with my feet all the time. Okay? All right, it's enough speaking. I'm gonna do a bit of it, come back, talk about what we've done, perhaps do a little bit more. Okay? So you can see what I'm doing there. I'm moving around all the time. I'm not planting my feet and hitting hard. Because part of what you get power from is moving. Clearly, if I stand, the thing you get a fun fair, with a punch you put the coin in, punch ball comes down, and you punch it and it tells you how tough you are. If you stand, plant your feet, and go whoosh, like this, most people could hit reasonably hard. However, put a boxing glove on so you protect your hand. Most people can probably hit harder if they run into it. Okay, so if you move into a shot, it is by definition more powerful. Okay, or it has the, by defi definition the potential to be more powerful. So if I move to my left and strike like that, it will probably be more powerful than if I just do that. It has the potential to do so. So we need to look at is I move with my strikes. See that here, I step and hit, and again, there. I'm moving all the time. And you see, I'm only doing downward figure eight as I do this. Then I come up, down, up. It's one half the X, then the other half. 
into abanico. Bit of an arc over there. Lean out, come back. Those shots can be so powerful because I'm moving as I do it. Give that a shove. Look, it comes toward me, I move off. Take its legs to come back. Okay. Continuous movement, continuous striking. You shouldn't be out of breath when you're doing it, maybe a little bit, because we're just going medium speed. And you soon find where's the power? What's the easy development ways to develop power? So you notice this is okay. But if I go, my whole body's come out. And then my whole body can come back. And that gives me, that's a real zing. You hit somebody with that, well, they'll wish you hadn't. Okay? This is an ongoing thing. It's not you do it for 10 minutes and you've learned it. You can't just get it in your head what you're doing. But this, you've got to think of like maybe a boxer working on focus mitts on a punch bag. That's a daily activity. That's normal training. That's what they do all the time. And this is the way you want to look at this. There's different things we can do with the tyre and you want to think what different things can I do to spice up my training and to make my training functional so it's not just in the air. So that's like a difference between a karate guy who just punches the air, kicks the air and a kickboxer who kicks punch bags, kicks pads. Yeah, You kind of know that if you average it all out, the kickboxer is almost certainly more functional than a karate guy. All right? I'm not saying something wrong with karate. It's probably just the way it's trained is less immediately functional than the way karate is, the way kickboxing is trained. And so we want to make sure we're in the group of making our training functional, actually hitting things, knowing how to develop power, but at the same time, not falling into the trap of standing there and just wailing away. Okay? Right. So go away. Work on that. Spend time on it. It's useful. It's what you need to do. And I'll see you again tomorrow.